How's it guys? My name is Dylan and in this video I want to show you how to shoot tethered with a Sony camera. I recently did a shoot with LA Galaxy and I decided to shoot tethered. Unfortunately, it failed. Not the shoot, but the tethering. I'll tell you why just now. This is what you'll need to shoot tethered. A USB cable, a computer, a Sony camera and a lens. At this stage, if you have a Sony camera, you can't shoot Tether to Lightroom in any way that makes sense. So what you need to do is to download Sony's tethering application. After you've downloaded and installed the software, plug the USB cable into the camera and the other side into the... If you have a new MacBook, you may also need one of these. I'm sure it's similar to other Sony cameras, but as I have the Sony a7 III, I'm going to explain using its menu. In the menu, browse to setup page four, go down to USB connection, choose PC remote, then go to PC remote settings. In the first item, set it to PC and camera so that it can be recording to the computer and your camera at the same time. And then in the second menu, choose it to write RAW and JPEG. If you're only going to be using the tethering to display photos, you can just set it to JPEG or if you want you can set it to both RAW and JPEG and thereby you're getting another backup of your photo. If you're choosing a RAW file it may take slightly longer to copy over the photos to your computer so just keep that in mind. Open the remote application and now you should see what your camera sees. Here you can basically access all your camera settings and even take photographs from it. If you click remote and save folder this is where you can choose where you want to save the photographs. Open the viewer application Make it full screen. You're basically set up now and if you start taking pictures you'll see them popping up on the screen. This is really helpful when you're taking portraits and you want your model to be able to see the photos as you're taking them. It might help them pose in different positions after they've seen what the photo looks like or fix things like their hair. So what happened with the LA Galaxy shoot? In the shoot I was doing portraits and action shots. Everything was working fine when I was doing the portraits and the pictures were coming up on the screen. But as soon as I started doing the action photos and went over to burst mode, it just couldn't keep up. At one stage I looked down at my camera and I had a buffer of 60 photographs that had not yet copied to the card. And in this situation, that is an extremely scary thing to see. This athlete that I had shot, the last 60 photos of him had not yet written to a card or to the computer and were just sitting there. I unplugged the USB cable from the camera and luckily the buffer started going down as the photo started writing to the card. Because of that experience, I really wouldn't recommend you using Tethered if you're doing action shots. In that real life situation, it really didn't work well. Cool, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to someone and I'll check you guys in the next video.